All right, so let's keep moving on. Um, so here's more of, you know, dominant seven chords using parallel chord shapes. So before, uh, we've uh, probably encountered an A7 chord like this, right? It's simple. We just use two fingers. It's going to go second finger on the fourth string, second fret, and then third finger on the second fret, uh, second string. Right? So, but what we're going to do, we're going to play it slightly differently. And what we're going to do is we're going to use our third and fourth finger to play that A7 chord. There's a good reason why I'm doing this is that when we move up parallel chord shapes, um, this will be much more uh, beneficial. Okay? So when you play this uh, A7 chord, what you kind of want to do is, with the same idea when you play the E7 chord, this first string, we're going to mute it. So you can kind of touch that with your fourth finger. You just want to get these inner strings to sound. Okay? Now here's the A7 chord. Now the next chord we're going to learn is D7. To do that, what we're going to do is our third and fourth finger, we can use them as guide fingers. They're going to go up to the seventh fret, okay? Now, but the thing is, what we have to do is we have to lay down our first finger. So our third and fourth finger are on the seventh fret, all right? And then what we're going to do is our first finger, we're going to put that on the third string, fifth fret. And then this is how we get a D7 chord. And we just play the same uh, inner strings again. Okay. Let's go back down to A7. And then we go to D7. Okay. Now the last chord we learned is E7. We know this E7, but we're trying to use parallel chords here. So what we're going to do is we take that D7 chord shape and we move that up two more frets. One, two, all right, to the seventh fret. So the first finger is the seventh fret, third and fourth finger are at the ninth fret. So that's going to be e, uh, E7. So the progression, let's try the, the blues progression again, all right? So here we go, A7, here we go, one, two, three, four. slightly different rhythm, more like a funky type rhythm. sounds, this kind of uh, chord progression and this kind of chord voicing, and when you like strum a lot, you can get that kind of percussive sound along with the chords, so that kind of helps with that more rhythmic drive. Um, later on, I'll kind of show you how the, uh, the rhythm for the funk uh, kind of goes, okay? But yeah, so let's keep moving on to the next video and a more parallel chords.